All right. Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving our praise, our honor, our glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rekha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Aki am out there pushing this word and all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, Shalom. It's your brothers from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And today we're going to go into Job 18, man, to show you the end of Esau Edom. Because people really have it in their mind that this man is going to continue on forever, that his house is never going to fall, and that's the complete opposite of what, what it really is. And we're witnessing the collapse of this man's empire right before our eyes, man, because Esau is coming to the end of his blessing according to what the most eyes ordained to happen. He was never meant up, he was he was never set up to be an everlasting ruler. His 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 kingdom. Just like all the other heathen kingdoms before it is a temporary kingdom, man. You see? And this man is going down according to what the Most High has ordained it to be. And we're here to let the world know what it, what it really is. You see, and why is it happening? It's because it's time for the Israelites to come into rulership, man. And you're starting to hear brothers hark, hark on this more and more and more, you see, as that time draws near. It's time for Esau to fall, man. It's time for the so-called white race to be taken out of the power seat. You see, and that's exactly what's going to happen according to the Most High's will. So let's start. Let's get it. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Job chapter 18, verse 5. Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candles shall be put out with, the, with him. And that's that's what's coming. This is what this is why we hear this is why we're seeing Esau being exposed the way he is, man. It's because it's time for this man's candle to be put out. You see? Him, him being a shining light in the earth, and everybody looking at him for what's right and what's wrong, and him passing judgment and making laws and all this shit that Esau is doing, it's time for him to be removed, man. You see? And this is talked about all throughout prophecy because this is what this was his end all be all from the jump. See, they, they got it in their minds as if they could never be taken down, but they don't understand the Most High's will. Once again, just like all the heathen empires that came before it, Esau's empire is about to fall just like it. You see? And when we bring these things up, people get all offended. They start to get all uh, uh, pleasy and don't, don't uh, really want to deal with the reality of what it is. You see, but this is the truth, man. The Most High hates Esau. He gave him a blessing, yes, but at the end of the day, that blessing was temporary. It was never meant to go on forever. And, and all you people here in the land of America, you see, who are in that spirit of, uh, of God bless America and make America great again, you're living in a false reality, man. Because America is about to suffer the greatest destruction the world has ever seen as a judgment upon the Edomites for what they've done to the Israelites. All these things has to happen, man. And they will happen according to what the Most High promised it would be. Somebody hold Okay, Okay, so you good. It's the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? And that's exactly what it is, man, because it tells you that the Edomites are the border of wickedness. All wickedness on the earth stems from them, man. They're the ones who propagated. They're the ones who promoted and uplifted as if it's the right way to live. So the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. You got this man trying to trying to demonize people for uh, for everything that he does. It's called, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, damn, what's the term for it? Deflecting. Deflecting or projecting. Projecting. They project their wickedness onto you and try to make you feel, uh, make you seem like you're the villain, but it's actually him that's doing it. Look at all the pe the, the pedos, man. 
You see? They want to point to R. Kelly and Bill Cosby this and, you know, as if there's some type of sexual deviance. But when you really look at what these Edomites are doing, they got a whole fucking island to freak off with uh young children, uh children on, man. They are here sacrificing children, uh, harvesting uh, uh harvesting the blood of these children, man. But they got the, the but they're trying to stand on some moral high ground as if they're the, you know, just the shining light in the earth. They're a bunch of hypocrites, man. You see? They got laws and legislation in the place to tell you not what you can and can't do, but they're just all in the, in the background just doing whatever they want, man. That's why I say it's what? The triumph of another wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite. But for a moment, this man is going down. You see? And he knows he's going down, and this is why he's putting forth what? We get laws and legislation to try to stop this truth from coming out. To try to stop the mouths of the prophets. Because we're in that time of that man to sin, the son of perdition being exposed, man. You see? What's up? Yeah, Father James keeps it wrong behind the church. Maybe that one was for the orphanage. <laughs> God. But yeah, man, this, this is what's happening. It's time for Esau to be moved out of the way. You see, a lot of you Israelites don't want to hear that because like we was talking at, talking about at uh, camp yesterday, a lot of you have Stockholm syndrome, man. You don't you don't want Esau to be taken out of power. You can't see a world where Esau is not in rulership and you being on the bottom. And that shows that a lot of you Israelites are low level thinkers, man. You see, natural home born slaves. You feel like you can't move, uh, you can't fucking operate or function like Esau calling the shots. And we're telling you, we're the top nation of people on the earth, man. We're the ones who are supposed to be on, on top calling the shots. And that's what is about to be set up according to the Most High's will, the kingdom of heaven, man. You see, and that day, and Esau has nothing to do with it. The only place Esau has in the kingdom of heaven is under our feet, man, for a thousand years. That was it, bro? That's what you want to know. Uh, this is Psalms 30. Oh. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens mm -hmm. and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. That's what's coming. He, he is he not mounted up to the heavens right now? You see? To the point where he has a space force, he has weapons in heaven. He's he's all lifted up and lofty as if he can't be taken down. You see that is that is is this not how this is man is moving in the earth? You see? These people are preparing to fight against you. Have a shot when he returns, man. Because he really feels like he can beat the only begotten son of the most high. But his end shall be as what? As if he what? Says, yet he shall perish forever like his own dumb. That, that's the end of the Edomite, man. They're going to be completely eradicated from the earth when it's all said and done. This And, and that's a part of their judgment. For all the wickedness they've committed on this earth, going all the way back to the time of Cain, man. They have a lot to pay for, and this is the only reason they've been created. See, because they they got this great blessing of having a, this this great land as of America. They become the richest nation of people on the earth. You see, they, hey, they are living on their blessing. They feel like that this is, is going to be like this forever. You see, but little do they know what their end all be all is, man. They they don't understand their fate. You see, but we're here to let you know what it is, man. Was more? Let me just finish off that verse. It says, yeah. they which have seen him shall say, where is he? There it is. The, the time is going to come where there will be there will be no more so-called white people on this planet Earth. And that's according to the most high's will. You can feel however the fuck you want to feel about it. You can you can be in your emotions. You can cry about it. We don't care. At the end of the day, the most high knows what's right. And, and what's right is what? Esau being eradicated after 1,000 years of hardcore slavery in our kingdom. He not finna, he not finna escape captivity after 1,000 years and go into the Caucasus Mountains and come back to wage war against us in our rest. That's a goddamn lie, Bishop Nate. After that 1,000 year period of a hardcore captivity for these people, we're gonna gather all of them up and make a, a public example of, of them to the world and eradicate them, annihilate them, exterminate them. As the fucking uh, uh, base creatures that they are, according to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the one you ignorantly call God, that's His will. That's what's written in these in these scriptures, man. That was it. That was it.
Which one? No. Uh, Psalms 37, verse 35, it reads, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Oh, we're not seeing that? This man is scattered all throughout the earth, military bases, over, over in, in, other, in the heathen nations, trying to call the shots and tell them how they, could, they need to conduct themselves. Democracy here, democracy there. If you don't want democracy, they they send in the fucking they 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 cause a coup to happen to overthrow the uh rightfully elected government to put in a puppet leader so they can run it how Esau want them to run it. Then that's why you see women's rights, rainbow flag agenda, children start to be preyed upon more. You see, that's that man spreading himself like a green bay tree all throughout the earth, man. This is what he does. And wherever he goes, wickedness follows. Why? Because he, they are the border of wickedness. All the earth's problems stem from who? Esau, man. You see stem, tree, stem, tree. God, you God. know what I'm saying? Go Just like in Haiti, what's going on right now, we believe that Esau's behind that shit, man. Bro, come Same on, man. Play. That's what he does. He goes down there, destabilizes uh, economies, destabilizes governments, putting his false leaders, and they and they do the bidding of Esau. And you see the same, they try to do the same shit in Venezuela, where you had that... Uh, that that man, that fucking not Maduro. Was it Maduro? No, no, no. The other dude that came out of nowhere and was just trying to take 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 over the office with Maduro still in in, in rulership. Man, this that was that was a guy set up by Esau to try to overthrow the rightfully elected government. Man, this is what this man does all throughout the earth. The same shit with uh Ukraine. You see, they all over there in Syria and matters that don't pertain to them, man. They did that in the past too with Iran and uh um what is it uh uh one of the uh, uh, countries out here in Guatemala yeah they did that in the past as well that's what this man does all over there in Africa who, who do you think colonized Africa Esau did man the British they still over there you see stealing resources the whole fucking war on terror what what was that all about to steal the opium resources to 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 fund the fucking uh, what's the fucking pills called? The fucking oh the oh, the pharmaceutical uh, industry, man. All that fucking opium. That's why that's why they killed Pat Tillman, cause he was about to come back and report on that shit. Like, bro, we ain't over here fucking defending America. We over here fucking standing guard watching over opium fields, man. And guess what? Happened? A, couple, a couple weeks later, he got caught in so called friendly fire. Yeah. Because he because he was like, bro, I'm not feeling it. I'm not fucking with this shit, bro. Three NATO rounds in his head. That's what I'm saying. You see, this this is the type of shit that Esau does because he does what? What? This is um. So lucky, I lost my spot. Verse thirty six. Yeah, he shall pass away, and lo, he was not. Yeah, I saw him, but there could not be found. And that's why they have to. That's why they have to be removed completely, man. Not one Edomite could fucking endure because. Is a chance of that seed coming back through that man. That's why every single last one, either my man, woman, and child is going to be erased from the earth, man. You see, the because the, the reason the earth is in this is in such an unstable condition is because of Esau. The earth is out of out of balance, out of whack. Everything is not in order because of Esau, man. You see, he's in his kingdom right now. He's in the fullness of his blessing. He's the one that's in control of the earth, and the earth is out is is out of complete fucking control because of this man. This is why you're eating GMO foods. This is why your fucking taxes are so high. This is why you can bet, motherfuckers. All you see on social media is people complaining about you can't even the the uh, so called new home buyers. They're trying to get homes, but they can't even afford the shit. You see, they're not making more money. Everything is going up. All this is because of Esau. The wicked rulers of the earth, beginning with the international banking families, man, the elite. This is why this man has to be taken down. And once this man is taken down, all the problems of the world will be solved, man. Just that simple. It's, it's, it's a simple equation. What's, what's wrong with the world? Esau being in power. How can we fix it? We take him out of power. Simple equation, man. Yeah, that yeah. doctor. Remember that? He did that. Um, he went before, like, uh, Congress. And he said the only equation that he could come up with is the death of the so-called white man to make the earth better. Yep. Everybody's sick. Everybody, the de hey, death is running rampant in the earth. 
disease is running rampant in the earth, adultery is running rampant in the earth, children being preyed upon, being molested, sacrificing the earth. All these things are happening up on the Esau's watch, man. You see? The animal the fucking endangered species list is crazy. It's to the point now where you got animals whose natural habitat is the ocean. They're committing animals are committing suicide. This is how fucked up the earth is up on the Esau. Do you not see all these whales beaching themselves? That should, that's not a coincidence. It's because the waters are too toxic. Why? Because Esau is out here drilling and digging up the oil in the earth. Fucking oil spills around the clock. You still got an oil spill that's going on right now in the Gulf of Mexico that's been going on for the last 14, 15 years. Nuclear Spilling out. Japan. Huh? Got that nuclear spill in Japan they never fixed. Mm -hmm. You see? All these things are happening up on the Esau watch. So once again, the, it's a simple equation. Take Esau, out, take Esau out of power, and that heals the earth, man. And our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to do it. Right. What's no, man could, no man could do it because he got that sword and a hedge around him right now, you know? Yep. Uh, I got a Revelation 13, 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any have an ear, let him hear. So, he so, so, hold on. So, so the thing is, with Esau being in power, everyone is worshiping this man. So with, with that with that worship comes uh, uh, some, uh, uh, a certain type of loyalty, man. So when we talk about Esau going down, you see these people hear that, Oh, you guys are, you guys are racist. You guys are hateful. You can't say that. Uh, uh, uh you guys are bigots. You see, it's, it's always a defense for Esau. And who are the main, who are the main ones championing the defense of Esau? The fucking wicked, the wicked of our people. You rebellious as Israelites. When we talk about the so-called white man going down, this and the other. Oh man, y'all guys crazy. You can't be saying that. Oh, you guys are hateful. Well, ain't no white man ever did nothing to me. Did it? Did it? You see? He's being worshipped by those who are not found written in the book of life, man. The rebellious of the Israelites. You see? That's why That's why you see demons come up to the camp. They get uh, the one that happened a couple weeks ago at Dallas. You had that that, that dude come up and just give yeah. the brothers a hard time. Esau comes up and what happens? Shaking his hand, hugging him, kissing him all on the cheek. Yeah. You see? Stockholm Syndrome, man. That goes back. Read that up. Uh, that first one you read again, bro? It says in verse 8 of Revelation 13, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life. And we already of know the, the ones who... Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So we already know the only ones who are written in the book of life are the Israelites. You see, the heathen nations don't matter. The only the only names in the book of life are Israelite names. You see? So that lets you know the Israelites are the ones who are standing firm to defend Esau. That was Especially, a prophet in uh, Genesis under Cain, that he would rule over his brother and his brother would worship him. Pretty much, Jake would want to be like Esau in the end days, you know? And we're, we're uh, seeing that, man. And we're going to see it even more. As, as shit really goes down and, and, and these elite really collapse the society, these fucking wicked ass Israelites are going to do what? They're going to point the finger at the men of the Lord and say, you're the reason this is happening. Instead of going to the problem, which is Esau. You see? You have something else, bro? Yeah, I'm just going to read 9 and 10. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And, you know, that's the point that that's Esau's end. So these two thirds, they're going to fall into that same pit, you know? Because oh, you when it pops off, what are they going to trust him? They're going to trust in Esau. They're going to go take that implantable device and end up in that lake of fire with that devil. What you got, you call? Uh, uh, Ezekiel 35, verse 1. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, set your face against Mount Seir and prophesied against it. 
the state you it. Thus say the Lord power. Behold, I am against you, Mount Seir, and I will stretch out my hand against you, and I will make you a desolation and a waste. And I will lay your cities waste, and you shall become a desolation, and you shall know that I am the Lord power, because you cherish perpetual enmity and gave over the people of Israel to the power of the sword at the time of their calamity, at the time of their final punishment. Yep. So Esau, hey, Esau's Precious America is, is going to become a desolation as a punishment for what he's done unto the Israelites, man. We're, we're just letting you know what the Most High intends to do and what he will do. This is what people really, they can't they can't come to grips with that, man, that this whole reality that we've been that we've been in is all according to what the Most High has ordained it to be. That's what that's what's playing out right, right around you, man. The Most High's will. You see, he set up everyone in a specific lot. And Esau just so happens to be in a lot of the wicked as the vessels of wrath fit into destruction. He's allowed them to do all manner of wickedness in the earth to reserve them for that great and dreadful day when he brings that judgment. He's allowed, the, the Most High has allowed Esau to just whoop Israel's ass for all these centuries just for him to be reserved until this time of judgment that we're about to come into. You see? With the ultimate judgment coming in the form of the nuclear missiles raining down upon Babylon the Great. You see, this is this is what this is how the most high orchestrated this thing, man. What you got, Shabbat? Khan, I got Jeremiah uh, 51 and 13. Uh it says, O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thy end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Yahweh of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. So, you know, he's a, just like you said, he's going to all these countries, these different nations, and he goes and pushes his policies, his democracy, and that's him to dwelling on many waters. And he's, you know, um, God, the Lord's, the caterpillars are the are the prophets, you know, because the caterpillar will, you know, in, in a tree, they they uh they take all the nutrients from the inside of the tree that for the tree to 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 be uh, destroyed, and that's what we're doing. Like in Thessalonians, it says that he's gonna, uh, you know, reveal you and just by the mouth of his prophets. So we're out here lifting up a shout against him, you know, because because uh, his wickedness. <laughs> and so so let me crit let me crit that real quick. So that was a correction on that breakdown a while ago. So that goes into the foreign troops that are going to come into this land to fucking completely decimate this place. You see? Oh, caterpillars? Oh, con. Yeah, so it's going to be foreign troops. Let me read this in the uh, NLT. Jeremiah 51 and uh, 14 in the NLT, it says, Yahweh of heaven's armies has taken this vow and has sworn to, to it by his own name. Your cities will be filled with enemies, like fields swarming with locusts, and they will shout and triumph against you. So those foreign troops are going to come over here and going to run rough shot in the, in the land of America, man. You see? God, That's what's God, about God. to happen. But it all goes into what? The fall of Esau Edom. You see? In their chief dwelling place, America, man. You see? Let's get back in that, uh, Joel. Back in Job. Chapter 18 and verse 7. It says, The steps of his strength shall be straight straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. And that's what that's what that's what we're gonna see. Esau already thinks he's outsmarted the most high. He's pushing for these laws and legislation to try to stop the word, but everything he's doing is, is working toward his final end, man. Everything that Esau does in the earth is all leading to him falling. You see, the strength of the steps shall be straightened in a, in a place of difficulty. Every like, cause he's trying to find a way to sidestep this judgment, but it is locked in, and everything that you do, that you've been doing, is going to lead up to you receiving that judgment. Be why? Because it's been ordained to happen according to what the Most High has laid out. There's no way Esau can escape this judgment that is coming. Everything he does when he puts forth his laws and legislation to justify uh, 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 
no Bible street speakings or whatever. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna uh that's gonna go all throughout the earth. It's gonna it eventually end up on on the internet. That's gonna cause what famine of the word. When the famine of the word comes, he gonna be he gonna he, by his laws he gonna be justified and rolling on the man of the Lord. What's that gonna what's that gonna cause to happen? That gonna cause him to come in like a flood. That's gonna cause a standard to be lifted. The standard to be lifted is gonna cause what Israel to rise up and thresh, being the battle axes and weapons of war the Most High. It's gonna cause it's it's. A chain, everything you're doing is causing the chain reaction of prophecy. You see, everything you do, the most I has a counter punch for it, and it all leads up to what your final end, man. Your fall that has what that's what's been locked in. You see, according to your how about shot, that's what it's gonna be. There's nothing that you can do about it, man. You see. It's only one, it's only one role, and it all leads to what? The fall of Esau. And this is why he's doing what he's doing. Preaching the Bible is hate speech. You can't bring out certain scriptures here. You can't bring out certain scriptures there. You can't be in public doing this and the other. Bro, all you're about to do is uh, activate another portion of prophecy. That's it. That's it. Yo, it's like it's like the game of chess. Every time he makes a move, he's in, he puts himself in check. Yep. Yep. He's in checkmate eventually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, ain't shit he can do about it. You gotta sit up looking at the boy for three hours. Make him make a move here. Nah, got your ass. Can't do shit. You see, you can't That's do shit. That, uh, Dr. Strange, remember? He did all the outcomes. He's like a witch. And he said, I gotta look at all the outcomes of the future of us. That's what he's he always doing. That's what, he, that's what he trying to do. He, he, over there, he over there standing up, looking at the fucking board. He got the plays laid out. What can I run next? To try to escape, ain't nothing you can do, man. There's nothing that you can do. You got it, bro. It says, verse 8, For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. The most I'm gonna have, the most I is having you walk yourself down. You see? <laughs> he got you walking yourself down, man. You see? Because once again, everything you do, the most I has a reaction for it. And every reaction is what? Is is not beneficial for you. Everything you're doing is to your detriment, it's to your fall, it's to your destruction. Everything. You got it, bro. It says the, the grind shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. The snare is laid. For him in the ground in a trap for him in the way. And, and the most and the most I got it set up to where he has his men in the earth, believing upon him, calling upon the name, calling upon his name through his son named Yahweh Shah, doing what we've been created to do. They've been set up as the bait, man. You see, because you we know and understand that you want to roll upon us. You want the men of the Lord that's coming in the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shah, giving you this doctrine that don't don't hold, hold any punches when it comes to you. The truth of the matter, man. The most I said, he set us up out here as bait. And when you roll, it's going to cause another activation. You see? Yep. Which is going to cause you to fall even more. And it's going to continue to happen until you're completely taken out of power. Yeah, Everything you do works against you. What's up? Daniel 12 and 1. Michael, the archangel, shall rise for his people. Oh. And eventually, I will shine, you know? I got one really quick. This is uh Psalms chapter 73, starting verse 17. It says, Until I went into the sanctuary of the most high, then understood I therein. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou cast them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. Why? Because it's the most high's will. This is this is the judgment that's being set up for Esau, and every step he takes leads him further and further into it. This is why we have nothing to fear, man. Everything this man is doing, he's doing it and is working against him, man. We we don't care about you pushing forward laws and legislation to try to, to try to outlaw the Bible. We need that to happen so the family of the word can be uh, fulfilled. We don't we not we don't give a damn about you go, going to roll upon us. We need that to happen so the standard can be lifted. Once again, there's a counterpunch to every everything that you throw. You see, and the counterpunch is coming back and it's hitting you harder than what you hit. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
And it's all good. So that's why we're not fearing. We, we're in the spirit of boldness because we know and understand what happens to you. That's why even he said what? I was envious. I was foolish and envious at the wicked until I went into the tabernacle of the Most High and understood their end. We understand your end, man. We understand how it ends for you devils. You don't win. And everything you do has already been set up to come to pass according to our Heavenly Father's will, man. And that will not change. It's over for you devils. It's over. All we're doing now is wait, waiting for you to make your moves so we can be, a, so, you, so the most I can draw you deeper and deeper into prophecy. You see? You got some more now? Uh, nah, that was it. What y'all got over there? Uh, I got uh, Genesis 4, and this is dealing with Cain, which is uh, Esau, and uh, when he slew his brother. It says in Genesis 4 and 6, And Yahweh said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted? But he didn't do well. He did he, Just like today, he's not doing right back then. And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door. And this is why he's going to come down with great wrath, because we're speaking about all the wicked he does. Right? And the Lord hears us. He hears our prayers. So Esau's only thought is to kill us. That's why he's going to come down with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short term. It says, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. So when he got this message from the Lord, the next thing he did was went out and killed his brother. It says, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And Yahweh said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And that word keeper means watchman. Should I warn my brother? So that's why he despises us, because we're doing what's right, and he's evil. Yeah, you know, and, so that's yeah. catch that judgment for being evil. Yeah, with that sin, uh, sin uh, waiting to, uh, shall be ruled over him. That's how we see Esau move. He's he's yeah. he's far gone in the flesh, just like Cain was. So sin is at the door, waiting, waiting, waiting for this man. That's all he does is sin. He can't he can't do right. He hasn't right. been set up to do right. Everything that Esau does is, is in wickedness, man. You see, yeah. and the. And the Most High is not for it. Like the Most High told you, if you do good, you shall be rewarded. But Esau don't want to do good. You see? Yeah. And I was just going to point out on the, you know, where you can read the commentaries of these uh, Esau scholars, it says that Cain was a premeditated murderer of Abel. Yep. He, he put it out. Just like right now, he, like the brother said, he's sitting in these, you know, where they're breathing together, conspiracies, conspiring together. To do what? Murder the Israelites, especially the prophets. Now, you call uh, Proverbs chapter 16, uh, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. That's what's. Uh, and Esau's in a great spirit of pride right now, man. He, This is the most proud he's ever been. And, and sure, well, shit, you know what? It's going to continue to get. He's going to continue to get even more prouder because he's going to see, like, yeah, this new world order, we almost got it. He's going to get more and more proud until what? The Most High comes down with that hammer, man. You see? And gives him what's been waiting for him all along. That fall. The end of your power. You see? The end of your rulership. The end of your blessing. It's all about the expiring, man. The, day, the, the fucking sand is ticking in the hourglass, man. You see? This devil don't got too much longer. And we see it. You see, you got this omen coming up in the uh, next month. This 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 uh, lunar eclipse with a devil's comet. Six six years, six days, uh, six months, six days after the one that happened in two thousand seventeen. Come on, man! It's and the all omen the planets, man, is finished. And all you the see? planets are lighting. Huh? That same night, that same day. When all that's happening, they said all the planets are going to line up also. Lord. And then the, the two paths that the two eclipses make, it makes a thought. 
it makes a thaw letting you know that this is the end of America, man. That's what that signifies. It's the end of this place. It's over. And it's all according to what's written. It's all according to the most high's will, man. That's what people that's what people really don't understand. The most high is not you, you think the most high is with this place because you got indoor plumbing, you got fucking, you know what I'm saying, just convenience at your fingertips. The most high is with this place. No, man. The most high set this place up and allowed uh, and allowed it to be what it is just to destroy it. You see? What you got, Shabbat? You good? I'm good right now. Good enough. So going on back into uh, Job, chapter 18, and verse 11. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. Because he, he's going to start to see, like, damn, this shit is working against us. Everything we do, they've called it, and it's happening. You see? Once again, it's because the Most High is not with these people. You got it. Uh, let me get this. This is uh, Obadiah, verse 1. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh, Yahshai, and an ambassador sent among the heathen, Rise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And this is what's happening. Esau is becoming despised, man. He's becoming insignificant amongst the heathen. The heathen will start to start to look at him side eye, man. You see? Knowing to understand that, hey man, a lot of this shit is going on in the earth. It's being caused by these damn Edomites, especially these American Edomites. You see? The hammer, the hammer of the earth. That's why I tell you in the book of Revelation 17 that the uh, ten horns shall hate the whore and shall eat uh melt her flesh, uh, eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Even America's allies are gonna turn upon this place, man. You see? Or are you sitting around hoping that America continue on forever, man? You better wake the fuck up. This place does not have too much longer, man. Going back in Job 18, verse 12. His strength shall be hungered, bit, bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. Because that's all that awaits America. So that's the big A. Esau's kingdom being thrown in complete chaos, then the destruction coming. That's all the part of that judgment that the most high is reserved for these people. Especially in, uh, in America, first and foremost. The rest of you Edomites that's going to survive in, in, in the different regions of the earth, you're surviving just so we can come down and put you in shackles and chains to cut you off into slavery to begin your one your, your one thousand year prison sentence, man. And all the Edomites that's, that's going to die on this side in this nuclear fire. They're going to be reborn through the survivors of their nation. You see, and they're going to be born into slavery. You see? That's all that awaits you damn devils because Jacob has to come into his blessing. Jacob has to fulfill what? The elder serving the younger. That has to be fulfilled. Jacob has to come into the everlasting promise the Most High has given up to him, man. And that's going to be fulfilled through our Lord Yahweh Shah returning, taking you devils down. Okay. Says, verse 13, it shall devour the strength of his skin, even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. And who was the firstborn of death, man? Our Lord Yahweh Shah. You see? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of, beginning of it that followeth. And that beginning starts with our Lord Yahweh Shai's second coming. Once you see those heavens open, man, and Yahweh Shai comes with that, that great cloud and that heavenly host, it's over for you, devils. It's over. You see, Yahweh Shai is going to crack the clouds and he's coming to take Esau's authority away. This is all you read about all throughout the scriptures, man. That's right. He named him uh, Aishawah when he was born. Like, we were learning the history. We lost who we were, but in the past, they knew who they were. They knew uh, the story of Cain and Abel. So when Esau was born, Aishawa, this is him. That's that uh, Cain being born again. You know? Aishashua means, means wasted away is he. You know? 
Because he's wasted away because he has no pigmentation. You see? He's the only nation of people on the earth with no pigmentation, but he's he's the superhero. Can't even stand in the sun for 15 fucking minutes. <laughs> you see? God. Yeah. Oh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, and verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Yahweh Shemeshach. So yeah, man, it's coming to that time where we're going to be released from our captivity. We're not going to depend on Esau and his, his wicked satanic system. All right? We're going to depend on Yahweh Shemeshach forevermore, man. That's, that's it. That's, that's already happened. Because the remnant is in the spirit returning back to the Most High. We ain't trusting the Esau. We ain't looking to, to this nigga for the answer. We ain't looking at Esau as if he's some type of fucking savior. We know this man ain't shit because the script, the Most High through the scriptures has put his own game. We never trust our enemy, man. We know this man is our enemy. We ain't sitting around like you dumbass niggas with Stockholm Syndrome trying to save this damn devil, trying to give him a pass for all the fucking rape, robbery, murder, atrocities that he's committed against us. No, this devil has to pay for it. If you were in the right spirit, you would, you would want justice, not no fucking reparation. The true justice is what the Most High is ordained to come to pass for these damn devils. The true justice is the Most High putting these devils in shackles and chains and giving them unto us as an everlasting, well, as a possession for a thousand years. That's true reparations, man. See, but a lot of you Israelites don't want that. You want you want a little fiat currency, a little hush money, because that's all it is. You want the hush money. You know what I'm saying? And he'll never give it to you because he's never gonna give you justice. <laughs> this is why we're looking for justice to come from the heavens, and that's what it's going to come from when Yahweh Shai returns. It says what? And ye that be, uh, what is it? Escape. No, no, no. Oh. Let me get this real quick. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. It says, and you who are troubled, rest with us. And who are troubled, man? The Israelites. But the only ones who are going to rest with the true believers, it's the remnant, man. The remnant are the only ones that are going to come and, and rest in the comfort of these scriptures, in the comfort of this prophecy, in the comfort of the promises the Most High uh, said he was going to give us, man. It says what? And you, and to you who are uh, troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming, and flaming fire taking vengeance of them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You see that? That's what's coming. So we're arresting, waiting, fun, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to fulfill these things. And we know according to his will, these devils are about to be given over unto us. You see, and their chief dwelling place, America, is going to be destroyed. As a judgment reserved unto them for what they've done unto us. True justice, man. You should want that as an Israelite. Not in the spirit of being hushed by giving a, uh, getting a fucking reparation check. You see? That's, what it's, that's why the majority of our people got to go, man. That was it on that? Huh. You hold it, Shabbat? Huh. I, I got, um. let's see. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain. If if so, she be may be if so she if so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. And let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lip, lifted up even to the skies. It's a wrap for this place, man. It's over. This place will not be healed. Make America great again is 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 just a false reality that you Edomites are living in. And a lot of you fucking Israelites are following that same thing, talking about make America great again. You fucking delusional, man. Kissing Esau's ass. America was never great for you, Israelites. America would never go back to the so-called glory days that you Edomites had when you were first established in this place. It's over. The, 20s, the roaring 20s. <laughs> you see? It's over, man. God bless America. That doesn't exist. Ain't nothing blessed coming to this place except for salvation for the, uh, the one-third. You see? Fine.
But according to the Most High's will, America's about to be destroyed for all the wickedness that, that, that's being committed by this place and the inhabitants thereof, man. It tell you that her, her sins have, re have reached up into heaven. Now it's time for the judgment to come down. Fine. And a heavy judgment is going to be, man. I had a couple more here. This is Yahweh hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh our power. That's, Make that's right. What, that, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're telling our people, the remnant, that hey, the Most High is about to cast this place down. The Most High is about to destroy this place for what, what's been done unto us here in it. And the only ones who are, who are you, this is resonating with is, is the remnant of Israel, man, who want to see this judgment come. Not in the spirit of 10 years from now in America. No, man. The remnant are in the spirit of wanting this place destroyed now. Mm -hmm. See that? This, this is what we're declaring. This is what the men of the Lord are, are declaring, man. This is what the true prophets of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh will be speaking. Not a doctrine that gives America a pass and all the shit and just try to sweep up under the rug all the shit they've done unto us. Now you'll be calling this shit out to their face each and every day. You see? Yep. Each and every week on the Howard yeah, Bowie is fucking up these damn devil's weekends by letting them know, hey, judgment coming upon you. And now it's to the point to where it's reached, to, it's reached into the gate of the nobles and they're pushing forth laws and legislation to try to stop it from coming out. Yeah. You got it. All right, last one. Make this is a uh, Jeremiah fifty one eleven. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Yahweh hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. See, and the king of the Medes is who Vladimir Putin. He's being raised up. You see. Because he's going to spearhead the destruction of America according to the Most High's will. You see, America was suffering the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah. What is that? Fire rain, raining down from the skies, man. This time it's going to come in the form of 200 million thermonuclear warheads. Vladimir Putin is going to spearhead that, man. You see? This is why he's being raised up. This is why he's talking about, hey, these missiles were made to be used. This is why the Most High gave the Russians that technology of hypersonic nuclear weapons, man. You see, it's a reason for all these things, man, because what? The Most High is going to destroy the land of America as a part of Esau's punishment, as a part of Esau's judgment for what they've done unto us so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And that's righteous judgment, man. Yo, God, you this the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 12. Whoa. It means destruction. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, establish establisheth a city by iniquity. And that's all Esau's done, man. How do you think America was uh built up? How do how do you think America was acquired? So all you either might see your pride, God bless America, make America great again. Do you understand what you're saying? I'm proud of being in America. Do you understand standing? Do you understand what you're condoning? What you have accepted by uh, allowing those words to come out of your mouth and truly believing in these things. Do you understand what you're doing when you're flying that American flag? Do you understand how to how, how you're able to do that? Why you're able to do that? If you do, no one understands. You're going to be punished because of what happened here in this land, man. That's why the Most High has a great punishment coming to this place. So continue to be proud to be an American. Continue to be in that spirit of uh, make America great again. You see? We're letting you know that slaughter has been prepared for you, devil, for the iniquity of your forefathers. Uh, Isaiah 14, 21. You see? Go ahead. You holding that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. You see, what, what's the iniquity of your fathers? How, how America was acquired, how America was built up, and now you're still, you're in the spirit of what God bless America. So you're, you're basically... Okay with what your forefathers did to get this land. So guess what? It's time for you to pay for, for the things that your forefathers have done because you are your forefathers. You see? So you got it. That they do not rise nor possess the land, 
nor feel the face of the world with cities. Yeah, you damn devil's going down, man. And we don't give a fuck about how you feel about it. We don't give a fuck about you soft-ass, weak-ass, two-third niggas that want to goddamn coddle Esau and protect each. We don't give a fuck about you niggas either. You're going to die right along with this man. You see? Being in that weak-ass spirit, man. Being in that goddamn Sambo spirit. That yes of master spirit. That goddamn Steven from Django spirit. You niggas going to die right along with Esau, man. Good fucking riddance. You see, you got the nerve to tell us that we wrong for wanting judgment uh, judgment and justice for the things that's been done unto us. Do you, do you understand these people have raped, robbed, and murdered us ever since we've been in this land? Beginning, what, beginning with what they've done into the northern kingdom? Our brothers and sisters, sisters in this land were slaughtered by these damn devils. This is how they can have a New York City. This is how they can have a Houston, a Miami, Florida. They can have a fucking California, Wyoming, Colorado. They can have all these things because of the great slaughter they committed when they were still in this land, man. You see? And they've taken or uh, uh, shed countless blood of the Israelites, man. And now this land is soaked with the blood of our relatives, and this land has to pay, right along with the inhabitants of it. And you two-thirds who refuse to accept the truth. Yeah, what is it? Would you like uh, no, I, the brothers go in and uh, I'll keep reading. Mm -hmm. So this is Job chapter 18, verse 14. It says, His confidence shall be rooted out, out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. So with all that being said, everything Esau is doing is leading him to meet Yahweh Shai face to face. And it's going to happen. Just like everything else, the most high's prophesied to come to pass, has come to pass. This is no different. Esau is definitely fucking going down, man. You see, because the world cannot keep going in the direction that it's going up under Esau. It has a change has to be made. You see, the reset button has to be pushed. And that's what's going to be done, man. You see, and that entails the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah, removing this man out of power, taking all authority out of this man's hands. You see, and and, and basically. Hitting a stop button on this fucking blessing, man. On this blessing. It's over for these people. It's over. And they know it. You can look at them and tell. These people are in a state of distress, not knowing how they're going to pay their bills. You see? They hear what the prophets are saying. And in the back of their mind, like, damn, what if they right? Bokad Malone, staying up at night, trying to figure out how he can stop this word from going, out, how he can try to uh, dismantle, uh, pick apart what we're saying to try to make it not be true. There's nothing that you can do, man. Trying to debunk it. Yeah, trying to debunk it. And shit, you ain't nothing. Ain't nothing to debunk. This is the this this is the reality of the matter. You Edomites have not been blessed by the Most High. You see. That blessing that you actually received from my forefather Isaac was actually a curse. Because what do you, how shall I tell you? He that shall live by the sword shall die by the sword. You see? And that's what's coming. Everything you've gotten in this earth has been about fucking rape, robbery, and murder. Everything. But you want to sit up and act like you, you got it because you you laced up your bootstraps and went to work every day. Nigga, you, you, are, you are a nation of thieves. A nation of murderers. A nation of pedophiles. And dog lovers. You see? A nation of liars. A nation of hypocrites, man. And now it's time for you to pay. Let me grab one real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus. Ten and eight. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's what's happened. Everything that you got, you got it by ill, uh, a hey, ill gotten means, and I was taking it's being taken away from you. Because I really don't understand how you thought that you were gonna come over here and and slaughter hundreds of millions of of, of people 
and think that that shit was gonna be okay. That shit made you know what I'm saying. That's a that's a delusional state of mind. You came over here, and it tells us that at the uh, in 1491 or 1490 yeah 1491, it was like 145 million Israelites in this land because the Northern Kingdom was over here after they left their Assyrian captivity, as it tells us in Second Ezra 13, and and in 14 no 1692. The population had decreased by 90%. Guess who did all that? You, you, you so-called Europeans, which are actually the Edomites. And you think you don't have to pay for that? Come on, man. And this is why we're not looking for these devils to give out any honest and true justice or judgment. This is why we're relying upon you. How about Shin Yahweh to bring the justice and judgment, man? Con, and it will be not to mention a Deuteronomy uh, twenty eight sixty eight. You know, bringing it, bringing the Southern Kingdom, yep, on the slave ships, yep. You gotta pay for all that, man. Yep. <laughs> I was reading this. It says, "Why do people say American is stolen land when in reality, Indians were simply." Uh, conquered by a superior civilization. That, and that, and what is that? That's pride. That's the fucking pride of you devils. Manifest destiny. Even this nigga Donald Trump said what? Oh, we civilized. We we civilized the entire nation. Okay. Keep walking in that spirit of pride. So that that just justifies the Most High even more of bringing his great slaughter upon you. So continue to walk in that spirit of pride, man. You see, because you're about to be humble. You're about to be humbled greatly as, as, as an entire nation of people. Okay. Uh, they, they say that they're civilized, but when they came over here, they, they didn't even know how to wash their ass. That's why they, they had all them plagues. And, and that's, that's the, what's the majority of killed the, the, the uh, Gadites and the Reubenites, you know, because of all the plagues that they were catching from them filthy Edomites. Got something. God. This is uh, Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. This is Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And that's, you know, uh, talking about the Edomites, man, you know what I'm saying? Because they're after the workings of Satan. And they're falling from their heaven fast, like lightning, because lightning comes down from the heavens quick, you know? And that's how these damn devils are falling, man. They're being brought down through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Shai like lightning, man. Imagine when they get nuked, is a, the fulfillment of that point is when the nukes hit. Uh, uh -huh. When you have uh, fall like lightning, he, he was prophesying of the nuclear destruction of America. Uh -huh. Instant. So, Job chapter 18 and verse 15 it should dwell in her tabernacles because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. His roots shall be dried up. So all oh, oh, like brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. What is that talking about? The nuclear destruction. You see, when that fire rains down from the heavens, from all these nuclear missiles, that's going to be fired from all these different nations, man. Fire is going to rain down upon America. Suffering the same fate of Sodom and Gomorrah as a punishment upon the Edomites and, uh, and the rest of the ungodly. With two thirds of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans partaking in that because you refuse to accept the love of the truth, man. You see, you want to you want to continue to move in this false reality and try to ignore and, and try to ignore the facts. You don't, you don't want to offend nobody. You see, because you want to stay on the so called white man's good side when this man can give two fucks about you. So the most I going to leave you here, the rest of the, uh, of the ungodly, to melt and destroy you. And that lake of fire, which is America. Says, and his roots shall be dried up be beneath, and above shall his branch be cut off. Because eventually the entire family tree of Esau Edom, every one of you Edomites, you know what I'm saying? You, your father, if you, let me say it like this if your father C line goes back to being in, uh, in uh, if your father C line goes back to Esau Edom, that makes you an Edomite. So every one of y'all eventually are going to be plucked up and rooted out of the earth. The entire family tree of Esau 
It's going to be chopped the fuck down to never be remembered again. Like you just read earlier, people say, well, hey, what, man, where did they go? Because one day we're going to look up and there will be no more Edomites on this earth. You see? Ever. I had a dream like that a while back. I'm telling y'all about this all the time. I had a dream where it was the Israelites. We were all in our right minds. Everybody was enjoying each other's company and there was no Edomites. There was no Edomites. And that's what? That's according to the Most High's will. That's according to what the Most High is going to bring to pass. Kind the Edomites died. are a plague and a cancel in the earth and the, and, and the, and the purest and, 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 the, and the way to get rid of cancer is what? By fire. You see? Mm -hmm. by, by way of the purest cleaning agent. It's going to start with America being completely engulfed in fire to never be inhabited again. And after 1,000 years of slavery for you damn devils in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to gather you up and we're going to burn you out of the earth. And the entire yeah. earth is going to rejoice, man. You see? Yeah, and Job, it says, the eye that see him shall see him no more. That's right. Who got some? I got some. You got it. Uh, uh, Job, uh, I'm sorry, Psalms 108. Power has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sakaf. Gilead is mine. So he's pretty much saying that he's going to give us the holy land. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot over Edom. Will I cast out my shoe? Now I'm going to get that in the NLT. It says, but Moab, my wash basin, will become my servant, and I will wipe my feet on Edom. Why? Shout in. Because they're gonna be put up under our feet, man. Because the elder shall serve the younger. And they're gonna be forever. It's gonna be for a thousand years, but it's gonna be a long one thousand years for you devils. And after that, you gotta go. Got you can't be here in the earth. We don't want anything fucking up our pristine planet, and you eat about just being here breathing. Pollutes the air. Yeah. You see, you got to go. Once again, but Moab, my wash basin, will become my servant, and I will wipe my feet on it's Edom. So Shout in triumph over uh, Philistine. I got to, let me go back. Um, going back to the KJV in Psalms 108 and 10. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will that will not thou, O power, who has cast us off, and will not thou, O power, go forth with our hosts? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through power we shall do violently, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. The Passover service last night by by by, by doing what? Meditating. On Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, conquering our enemies, man. You see? That's yeah. what, if you say Israel going to get the victory, the victory over who? The victory over our enemies, man, those who have oppressed us. You see? And yeah. it's going to happen through our Lord Yahweh Shah. Now, one more. It says in Isaiah 63 and 1 Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. That's how Lord that, Yahweh shot. Making God. his second coming, making his way to America to stop a mud hole in this place, man. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to say. I'm going to jump to verse 3. I have trodden the winepress alone. No, 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 no. no. Keep, keep, yeah. no keep reading, bro. Keep reading. Right. Verse 2. Wherefore art thou our... Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. What's For the wine press? The wine press is America. You see, you people are going to be the grapes because you're not with Yahweh. The, 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 you're going to be the unholy grapes, man. And Yahweh is coming to stomp you out. You see? Figuratively, that just means he's going to come and cast judgment very heavily in the land of America. That's why I say is what? The slain of the Lord shall be many. You see? You got it? 
says, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And that makes me think of Revelation 18. Rejoice, you holy apostles and prophets, for the Lord has avenged her yep. on you. Know, now keep going. Read verses 5 and 6 too, bro. God. It says in verse 5, And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Help, help, and, uphold, help and uphold what? True judgment and justice, man. Ain't no true judgment and justice coming from our enemies. They don't give a fuck about us, man. If it was nothing to the heathen, we would be in this condition forever. And this is why we're glad it's not left up to the heathen. We're glad that this thing was planned out according to what the Most High has laid, out, laid it out to be. You see? And we're gonna, and we're finally gonna get justice. Finally gonna get justice, man. These people finally gonna receive judgment for what they've done and what they're still doing unto us. You see, you got it, bro. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury upheld me. And I will tread down the people in my anger, and make them drunk in my fury. And I will bring down their strength to the earth. There it is. And that's what's about to happen. This is what's laid out in Esau's future. You see? What you, you call you holding? I got Isaiah chapter 47, or sorry, verse 7, uh, NLT version. You said, I will reign forever as queen of the world. You did not reflect on your actions or think about their consequences. Wow. Listen, this is eight. Listen to this, you pleasure loving kingdom, living at ease and feeling secure. You say, I am the only one, and there is no other. I will never be a widow or lose my children. Nine. And that's America and the pride that it'll never be destroyed. Yeah. Well, both these things will come upon you in a moment widowhood and the loss of your children. Yes, these. Calamity will come upon you despite all your witchcraft and magic. Despite all your witchcraft and magic. Just like the brother said at the beginning, they had the, they showed you at the WEF, uh, they brought that witch out to breathe on all those Edomites. This shit's all for not, All for nothing, man. Nothing. They ain't going to do nothing. You felt secure in your wickedness. No one sees me, you said. But your wisdom and knowledge have led you astray, and you said, I am the only one, and there is no other. Eleven. So, this is the last one. So, disaster will overtake you, and you won't be able to charm it away. Calamity will fall upon you, and you won't be able to buy your way out. A cat catastrophe will strike you suddenly, one for which you are not prepared. So what, that was NLT? Yeah. NLT? Uh, that, yeah, that was the NLT one. Good that's, that, that's, that's the fate of this place for all you people. God bless America, make America great again. America is the promised land. That's not what's written in prophecy, man. You see? Catastrophes is coming to this place. Great collapse is coming to this place. Great destruction is coming to this place because of the wickedness of you people you. in this place. As I said, you cannot prepare for it. So all that preparation all these people are doing is a waste of time. Babylon. Yeah. You got one somebody you good. I'm good. I... Go ahead, man. This is uh, Job chapter 14, bring, verse 4. Bring it down. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So going to Esau, man, he's unclean. He can't be reformed, all right? So we got to be destroyed. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Meaning that this damn devil has an expiration date set from the beginning. The Lord had a certain amount of time this, this damn devil will rule in wickedness. And then he's going to destroy it. And we're approaching that time of his destruction, man. Yes, sir. And that's why World War III is being you know, brought forth to destroy his ass, man. So that Yahweh shall can return 
and rule and righteousness, man, with the Israelites, man. That's right. It's Isaiah 34, verse 5. It says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, they shall come down upon Idumea, upon the people of my curse to judge me. Mm -hmm. The sword of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats. And that goes into you people being the sacrifices in this place. When that when that when that nuclear fire rains down in, in, in the form of those warheads, you people are going to be the sacrifice. It's going to be a sweet savor, a uh, sweet savor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You see, he's going to bring you people to fuck up. This is what's coming to this land, man. So while you people are uh, deceived in your delusion of thinking that this place is going to continue on forever, man, you're in for a rude awakening. You see? I want. I just want to see the faces of you people when you when you realize this ain't the promised land as those missiles are falling and your ass ain't going up. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, hath made a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. A sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia, which is the chief dwelling place of the Edomites, which is America. Basra, Idumia, those are those are the lands of Esau. Spirit, a America will be spiritual Basra. You see, because Basra was an ancient capital city in the land of Sid. You see? Now this would be the capital of Esau's empire, America. And this is where this great slaughter is going to be uh, committed at, man. You got it. It says, and the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and the and their land shall be soaked with blood, and the dust made fat with fatness, for it is the day of the Lord's Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's vengeance, and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. Finally, this is all happening so it can be what? A repayment for what you've done unto the Israelites. Matter of fact, can you get that in the GNT real quick? Let's, let me see if I can find it real quick. Real quick. You mean Isaiah 34? Yeah. I got it. Isaiah 34 and 8, it says, This is the time when Yahweh will rescue Zion and take vengeance on her enemies. That's why all this is happening, man. Finally getting true judgment executed in the earth. Finally receiving the judgment that you Israelites have been marching and crying for for all this time. We're telling you that the justice is going to come from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All that justice you've been looking for, you know what I'm saying, that you marching about, all the oppression that you've suffered, we're telling you, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to repay our enemies for all that they've done unto us. And we've seen it happen multiple times over the course of our history in these different captivities we've gone into, man. The Most High has always brought us justice. Now the, the ultimate form of justice is going to come here, Without salvation from the worst captivity that we've ever suffered, man. Right. Just have to wait on it. And it's, and, it's, and it's about to happen very soon. I got one now. You got it. This is Joel uh, 2 and uh, 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Before the great and terrible day of Yahweh come, and it shall come to pass. Go ahead, Ak. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahweh had said, and in the remnant whom Yahweh shall call. Yep. That's what salvation is for. For the true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to be calling upon his name, you see, in the midst of all this hell breaking loose. You see? So, yeah, let me just uh, get Isaiah 34 and 8 in the N N NLT. It says, For it is the day of the Lord's revenge, the year when Edom will pay back for what? The year when Edom will pay back for all it did to Israel. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's even that he's, he's even harder. There it is, man. 
You hey, you devils gotta pay. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you devils gotta pay. It's already set in stone, man. It will happen. So let's start trying to wrap this up. God. Uh going back into Job 18 and verse 17, it says, His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. And that's what's coming into, into uh, until you eat him. Vocab along. This this hasn't happened yet. This is a future prophecy. You see, this happens after the 1,000 years of Holocaust slavery for you devils in the kingdom of heaven. You see? It says, he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. There it is. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day. And they that went before were affrighted. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not the most high power. So you either might thought you were being clever in your wickedness, not knowing or understanding your latter end. You see? Which comes with a harsh judgment for all the madness that you've been doing, man, especially what you've done unto the Israelites. So we're wrapping up on this one right here. This is over. No, can I bring us now? Real quick. This is uh this is Psalms 58 the 58 verse 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he see of the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judgeth in the earth. That's right. That's right. The most high is a, a God of judgment, man. You niggas ain't finna just sweep what you've done unto us under the rug and thank you home free. Fuck no. You have to pay for all this, man. So this is Obadiah 1 and 18. It says, In the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph, a flame. In the house of Esau, for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord, Yahweh had spoken it. So there it is, man. That's what's, that's what's about to happen for you devils. That's what's coming. And we're going to continue to tell you this over and over and over and over again until it happens. Yo, let me grab that in the NLT too. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 18 in the NLT. It says, the people of Israel will be a raging fire and Edom a field of dry stubble. The descendants of Joseph will be a flame roaring across the field, devouring everything. There will be no survivors in Edom. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. And that's just what it is, man. And that's the, that's the fate that awaits you damn devils when it's all said and done according to the will of the almighty God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, man. And so with that, Lord willing, that was edifying. And we're going to continue to stand on you devils next and let you know what's going to come according to our Father's will. And that's exactly what it's going to be. And we're going to continue to stand in great boldness in that. For all you unbelievers, hey, may you die right along with Esau, man. You see? So with that, we're going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Wadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful that I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai has created us to do. With that, we're going to say Shalom. Wow, 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 wow.